During this time of year, we often hear the phrase all gave some and some gave all. We reflect back and remember all of the people who served our country and are no longer with us. And our KTSM 9 News reporter Jasmine Perry spoke with a U.S. Army veteran who reminds us the true meaning of Memorial Day and how our community can reflect. Good morning, Jasmine. Well, good morning, Stephanie. Since 1755, more than 1.1 million service members have been killed in the wars we had to face. Now, all while sacrificing their lives for us. And I spoke with the clinician Cynthia Torres, and she tells me on this day, many veterans are remembered, which is why she provides therapy for families and friends and what they can do, especially on this day. Take a look. In 1868, Memorial Day was established to pay tribute to our fallen soldiers. You know, people will engage in like barbecues and go to the pool, but in reality, it's honoring their lives. So some of the things that we can do is go to the cemeteries, you know, go to Fort Bliss Cemetery. Um, there's also a way to honor them by a moment of silence at 3 p.m. on Monday, our local time. A national pause to remember those who have passed away during the time of their service. And while it's a painful memory for those who have lost a friend or loved one who served, Cynthia Torres is a clinician at the Stephen A. Cohen Military Family Clinic at Endeavors, where she provides trainings for her community in an effort to bring awareness to mental health. When we talk about invisible wounds, we're talking about PTSD, the traumas that they come back with that we cannot see on their bodies. Which is one of the common health factors they treat at Endeavors. My experiences came full circle to where I'm at today. I went in, you know, all gun ho I wanted to be a nurse, so I went in as a medic. Torres tells me being a medic wasn't what she expected. I saw things that really brought me to the mental health aspect of, you know, serving. And when I left and I separated, I went to school to become a mental health therapist. While Torres has dedicated her time in the health field for 12 years, during her six years working with the military and veteran population, she now focuses on trauma at the Veteran Family Clinic. There are tons of agencies out here that do serve the military community. So it's even if it's in volunteering, um, looking out in the community to volunteer, um, reaching out to an agency, and just serving those other individuals who need the help. Now starting at 9 a.m. today, the Endeavors Veteran Wellness Center on Pebble Hills will host an event for the community to honor veterans and active duty service members as they will highlight their stories in a memorial box. And you can find all those details on our website at KTSM.com. Jasmine Perry, KTSM 9 News.